what's going on guys and gals welcome back to another vlog this is uh, week 11 um, today we're going to be talking about uh, what happened the same thing last week and uh, what I learned and everything so I've been kind of getting lazier and lazier <laughs> uh, the third month it's been kind of hard uh, it's summer now it's kind of hot you know it's going to be hot when it's like 70 degrees plus and it's five in the morning so <laughs> It's going to be super hot. So anyways, um, on top of me not making as many videos or working on the YouTube videos uh, as much anymore, um, just been kind of lazy and um, been kind of having, you know, anxiety. Still haven't gotten over it. I was hoping that if I was doing these vlogs, it will get me a little more comfortable, but um I guess I still have anxiety. I'm not a public speaker. I have stage fright. So um, what you guys don't see is that most of the time you guys don't only see about shoulder level. But one time when I'm making these videos, I'm always sweating profusely. I'm talking about if I lift up my arm, you're going to see like a puddle of sweat <laughs> all over the place. So I still haven't gotten over that. And I, I think some of the anxiety comes from that uh, it feels like when I'm making a video, it might not be good enough or uh, that I might be leaving something out uh, for the future when I make the, the real videos. Um, so that's why I've just been really writing it down, been scripting it and everything, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't actually started recording because, um, yeah, just a lot of anxiety and I'm trying to make it so, you know, I, I do it one time and then not have to keep on editing and moving uh, um, keep on me messing up and updating the videos and everything but i guess i should just make it anyways better to have it done and to update it than to not have anything done at all right um so last week i've been researching a lot about how to get the, the vi videos to go viral as well too uh the ones with a lot of uh like at least a million views and I came up with a lot of stuff I couldn't use. Some people use a lot of things. It's like, uh, you know, um, was it the, the, some some family issues? And I, that's not what my channel is about, you know. I'm not talking about families. I'm not trying to film my wife giving birth or whatever it is. Uh, it's, it's a lot of weird stuff uh, I couldn't use. I know there's other stuff I could use, but yeah. Um, what else did I do? I put up. The green screen, this is a really sad attempt for a green screen. So when I did the green screen, um, I started to do a few things. You guys, first I'm going to address the green screen. I, I didn't want to buy the, the green screen, I guess, because I wanted to go cheap. I wanted to do like a do-it-yourself kind of. So what I did was I went and I went, uh, I went and I got... Um, wrapping paper gift wrapping paper from uh, party city i uh, figured you know it, it's the same green and everything it'll save me some money i think this one was like four dollars or something for a whole roll but unfortunately i'm gonna show you guys i don't know what went wrong i went <laughs> to order it I, I and i guess you get what you uh what you pay for so i'm gonna see Oh, I can't turn you back. Hmm. Oh, well. I was trying to show you that uh, I don't know what happened, but the paper uh, looks really crummy. So you can see right here, right there. I don't know what happened when they packaged the stuff, but it looked like they killed something. So this is either doo-doo or this, this is like they squashed some kind of animal right here. Is it? See that? Leave it in the comments. So what, do you, what do you guys think that is? Is that, is that like a squash bug or is that like doo-doo? <laughs> yeah, so, and this is, this is supposed to be new. I mean, look at all these problems. And it um, looks like this one is really, really reflective as well, too. I guess you need to get a, a, double, a duller one. That's not as reflective, I guess. So, um, as you can see, it's like a huge reflection. And then we, I tried to uh, change the light bulb. So my eyes are sensitive to light. So it's kind of difficult for me uh, to have that many lights or that bright lights on because they start hurting. 
That's also the other reason why I haven't been on my computer as often. Because uh, if you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed that it's, it's super bright right now. You know, and that's why you see the, the reflection. Because instead of having one um, like yellow light, which is what my eyes are accustomed to. And that's usually how it is throughout my whole house. I have two white bright lights in this room. Um, so it's supposed to be for the green screen. So it's supposed to be. So there's no shadows cast on it. So you're supposed to see it better. Um, but this was a failed attempt. I did also get some uh, like a neon green uh, table covers. So I'm going to take these down. Put up the other one. Try it out. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so with the two light bulbs as well too. It's also generating a lot of heat. Either that I'm just sweating a lot more. I move my computer around uh, just so I can get this angle right over here to uh, you know to work with the green screen. But it is it is what it is. You know, uh, we just learn and just keep on working on it. Um, let's see what I learned last week. I learned how to film uh, skits faster. Do a lot more. Um, that when you're trying to film. Um, if you're doing uh, two different parts, like if you're trying to do a skit from one person to the next one, you want to try to record, I guess, one person at the same angle. Like if I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to the next person, you don't go back and then go over here and then go back and forth and keep switching around. I guess you film this person's angle facing that way and you read through the whole script as if you're talking to the other person. And then the other person, vice versa, back. So that way you get the whole angle. You're not going back and forth, adjusting the equipment too many times. So I'm going to look using some of those tips once I start actually uh, filming scripts. I mean skits. Um, what else is there? Um, the sleeping, one of my things. Uh, it's been getting hotter, like I said. It is summer, so I'm trying to also work around the whole being able to sleep properly so i went back on to the working in the morning section and then waking up and then working uh working on the the, the videos and the youtube and then trying to sleep later on as well too but i haven't been sleeping much because as i worked through the morning i can't sleep at night because it's so hot my house doesn't have ac uh, we just have a fan and it's doing its job, you know, but we're still, I'm still sweating like a beast, you know, and um, so yeah, uh, so now I have to, I guess, sleep in the morning and then work at night or in the evening when it gets super hot. At least I get some hours of sleep in. I, I've, I've always been uh, having difficulties going to sleep. Um, what I saw, oh, I also learned a lot. Of things about disclaimers last week as well too because um, the what was it the videos for uh, if if what am I trying to say <laughs> sorry sorry guys if you are making money off of affiliate links or any form of money uh, you have to leave a, di a disclaimer into the description box and um, any kind of disclaimer as well too if you're giving any kind of advice saying you know that you're not a, a legal professional any kind of license or anything like that so you don't get in trouble so they don't take your advice and then do something stupid with it and then blame you on it so i've been working on that we've been working on the disclaimer and i finally finished that i'm satisfied with the written part i'm thinking that once uh, i have the written part it's going to be in the description for all of the videos. And uh, this other guy gave a tip as well too. Is to leave it into the iCards. So it links to a video that plays that, um, that, that, that uh, disclaimer as well too. Um, that you're not a medical professional or a legal professional. So uh, I thought that was a pretty good idea. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make a separate video as well too. 
uh, to link it to the video because the other people said that if your video, if you have a disclaimer on your um, on your description, but if other people use the video, the description isn't attached to the video. So therefore you no longer, or the disclaimer is no longer good because it's not there. But if you put it into an iCard or if you put it as part of the video, you know, leave the disclaimer in the front or the end of the video or leave it as a, a, um, a link that connects to it, uh, at least then it will show that you have a disclaimer. So there's no way it, it's attached to the video. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video as well, too. Uh, I think just better to cover yourself, you know. Um, that's all I got for this week. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. You guys have a wonderful day. Catch you next time.